Good morning, tubers. Matt, I'm Roy back again. Back to you on a fairly Sunday, February 23rd, 2017. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. I know I am. Well, they finally came in. If you're seeing this video and you see it's a little more steady than the other ones, that's because I got my new windshield mounts in. Um, they're not the greatest quality, but they definitely get the job done. Uh, Eric, I know you were asking me about, um, Eric Brunhammer, I know you were asking me about where I got these. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll try to put a link in the video description as long as the uh, eBay auction is still up. They're very inexpensive. They actually come directly from Hong Kong. Um, at least they did. Kind of shift. Sometimes you get from Hong Kong. Sometimes they come from Taiwan. But, you know, for... I think I wound up paying about $3 a piece for these. They're totally worth it. Just a little suction cup windshield mounts that attach right to your windshield. Well, to be honest with you guys, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get to today. Uh, I'm really uh, lacking on content for these vlogs. Uh, I try to give you guys stuff that's interesting, but I really don't have too, too much I'm doing today. Um, my back is feeling a lot better. I know everybody's been asking about that. I've uh, been taking it easy. Uh, the, the, mainly the secret is when you have a soft tissue injury like I had, basically the lower lumbar muscle, uh, mu muscle problems, the best thing to do is relax. And what I do is I take three aspirin before I go to bed at night because aspirin is an anti-inflammatory. So that coupled with the fact I'm getting the rest actually helps the muscles soothe and loosen up because the problem is the muscles were getting tight and I know it was because I was bike riding. I mean, that's really, that's almost a given because when you're bike riding, you're kind of hunched over like that, and um, it's just not good on your back. So I'm going to have to take it a lot easier with the bike riding. But we are going to try to walk tonight. That is one thing we're going to try to do. I have not been feeling up to walking. I've been a little sl slacking a little bit this week for that reason and that reason alone. But I am definitely gung-ho to keep, uh, keep going because we are really, really doing well with our exercises. I'm at the thrift store. I'm going to go in there, see if they got anything good, and I'll talk to All you right, in a few minutes. So heading back from the thrift store, nothing good. Well, I shouldn't say that. They had a few things, but they were really overpriced. They had a, one thing was a G3 um, purple iMac. And I'll have to look it up later. I used to know all the different colors and the speeds, but I don't anymore. Um, I was kind of interested in getting it, but they had listed for 40 bucks. I mean, they're cool and all, but I'm not ready to spend $40 on an old G3 iMac. Um, they also had a Pioneer direct drive turntable. Um, it was an interesting one, very basic model though, no no features really, you couldn't, uh, no pitch control, it was basically 3345, a queuing button, and that was it. Um, I would have gotten that if they didn't want 30 bucks for it, because they're, you know there's no way to really test it there, they don't really have uh, an amp I can hook it up to. What I may do is keep my eye out on that though, if the price goes down, um, and it, nobody's bought it. I may go ahead and swap that up, but uh, I've had I've gotten burned by turntables before, especially ones like that because the the lid on it you could tell has been yellowed because it was it was in some type of uh, smoking environment. You could, those are the ones you'd want to avoid most of the time because the the soot from that cigarette smoke just gets in to all the electronics and causes tons and tons of problems. So I don't know. I may just avoid that altogether, but we'll see. The price gets low enough it might be uh, worth picking up yeah I just I don't know what it is that with thrift stores sometimes and I'm not really bad mouthing the thrift store but they need to be careful with their prices you know they get this stuff for free these are donations and he asks some, sometimes he asks exorbitant amounts for these items I mean you look at stuff like I mean they had a monitor in there a 17 inch monitor I mean nothing super fancy LCD they wanted 20 bucks for it I mean they're just not worth that they're, you know I, I picked those up for four or five dollars a piece all day long so I think they'll get the hint uh, they're really a good thrift store and when they see the stuff isn't selling I think they'll go ahead and lower the prices down so we'll just have to see what happens there uh, I'm going to head home. I really need to get something to eat because I've hardly had anything to eat this morning. I know I should be eating better, but I was busy. So you know what? That just happens sometimes. I'm going to finish up my coffee here and I will talk to you guys a little bit what later. What are you doing, bud? Look who came up to see me. Mr. Baxter. He doesn't usually like to come in this room very often. 
You know, good boy. It's a new thing, though. He does like to be on my chair. He is doing very well, guys. I know I haven't done an update with him for a while. He is about 11 months old now, and he is just the sweetest, sweetest cat I have ever owned. You going to say hi to the camera for everybody? Want to sniff me? He's just very happy. Um, he's getting much bigger. He's close to about 20 pounds right now. So, yeah, he's definitely going to be a large cat. And cats can grow uh, past the first year, too. So he's not quite finished growing yet. And look at those ears. I just think it's so cool. You can actually see, if you'll let me, you can see the veins in his ears. I just think that is so cool. His ears are so thin. But you're a good boy, aren't you? You're going to purr? He's purring, but I don't think the camera is going to pick it up. I just love his markings. He is just such a sweetheart. Oh, you're done? No more petting? Oh, here's another thing he likes to do. He likes to go right up on my table. And if I come over here and I sit in the chair, I can usually pet him too. Yeah. Good, good boy. Oh, here we go. Here goes the pern. Good boy, Baxter. I used the vacuum earlier, and it really kind of scared him a lot. Such a good cat, Mr. Baxter. Look at the size of those legs and those paws. We have to get him his claw covers. Almost uh, pretty much every one of his claw covers in front have fallen off. We had to order some more glue, so uh, that should be coming in the next couple of days, and we'll get those back on because you're a little terror when it comes to scratching. He scratches the couch, he scratches the carpet, he scratches the chair. But we'll forgive you, because you're such a sweetie. Good boy, Mr. Baxter. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pet him a little bit more. Well, and I'll Baxter talk to you in a few explores minutes. behind my computer a little bit. I thought I'd show you something cool I got from my buddy Jeff the other day. A um, couple of things here. Number one is this... I, I, He's being a stinker. <laughs> Apple Cinema Display. I think this is the 21-inch version. This usually uses uh, ADC. As a matter of fact, that was its primary connection. But because he gave me this box with it, if you guys have ever seen this before, this is a Apple DVI to ADC adapter. So basically you plug in the ADC plug uh, into this box and then it gives you a DVI connection so I can actually use this with a regular PC. Man, you are just depressed. I'm not petting him, and he's over here just sulking. I'm trying to get a computer done video done, Mr. Baxter, or at least a computer segment to the vlog. Yeah? What is it? He wants to be in the video. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. My goodness. Good boy, Baxter. We'll pet you in a few more minutes, okay? Good boy. The next thing I have that Jeff uh, gave me for this was a Dell Dimension 9200 computer. I'm going to have to find a blanking plate in front for it. It was missing, or I might just try and fashion something. But this is a pretty nice computer. It's got a Core 2 in it. Let's see if I can uh, pull up the specs for it real quick. Kind of hard to do this when you're holding the uh, camera at the same time. And it's a Core 2 Duo E7600 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And a uh, pretty decent sized hard drive. So yeah, I'm going to be working on this today, try to get this up and running. Um, probably going to be using this for a special project. Haven't really uh, decided on it yet, but oh my goodness. He just will not leave me alone, guys. He's just been very affectionate lately. All right, well, I give Baxter some more attention. Um, you guys go ahead and take a break, and I'll talk to you in just Tubers? a few So minutes. Mom and I... Wow. Somebody's uh, racing a motorcycle. Mom and I are doing our nightly walk, but since it was so nice tonight, we decided to uh, walk the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Even the flowers are out. Look at the daffodils over there. In February. We can't get over things blooming in February here because it's absolutely warm. incredible. Uh, it's it's just absolutely beautiful out right now. What would you say is about 70 degrees? I think it's 70, 72. 70, 72. It's going somebody, down. <laughs> somebody tell me got 76 today. That's incredible. That's got to be some kind of record. We've had a few uh, record-setting days this year. Absolutely beautiful out. Going to try to do uh, maybe a mile if I can. Half hour, hopefully. Yeah, we're trying. My back is uh, doing a lot better. The, the, the muscle is still sore and a little tight, but at least I'm not hunched over like I was before. 
That was absolutely crazy. I know the sun's kind of going down. Let me see if I can get, there we go. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and walk and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey, tubers, Talk to you soon. about uh, five, six minutes into our walk. Back is starting to tighten up a little bit, but I'm gonna push through because we've only done, what, about two days of exercise yeah, today? No, we walk. did it Monday. Did we go Yeah, we, we, we did Monday. Okay. So this is our second day, and hopefully we're gonna get another day in, so <laughs> I don't know. But you can see the sun is really starting to set, so I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here right now. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.